What's up, Tangerines? Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Maddie. I'm Jordan. And we are Tangerine Travels. We're really excited about the next few days coming up, and to be honest, I really did not see this surprise coming. Yeah, we were kind of in shock. We're st I'm still kind of in shock. Just goes to show you that Mexico is very big and very small. <laughs> What's that surprise? You're gonna find out. <laughs> Going for a car ride. Okay, sing it with me now. Going for a car ride. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. For a car ride. Oh, oh. You're a little early, but it'll work. We're going for a drive. Oh, ask her, do you want to go? Uh -huh. I don't know why I'm singing still. Uh -huh. If you want to go, roll, roll, roll. <laughs> Onward we go. Dog breath in my face. <laughs> so you guys might be wondering what the heck we're doing staying at a and b when we're actually living in Ajijic right now. And we just happened to get the opportunity to stay at Villa de Angel b and b for a few days. They reached out to us and they wanted to know if we would like to experience it and say what we thought. So and we said heck yeah. We said heck yeah based on everything that we saw of it and what we read. It's it's They're all about health and wellness and being your best self with your meditation, Reiki, yoga, different things like that. So we were excited to check it out. No, we're not being paid to do this. Yeah, we get quite a few offers from businesses and some businesses have offered us a lot of money to feature their thing, but we turn almost everything down. Like 99%. We only want to showcase things we really like, things that we would really enjoy and we think you would as well. But anyway, we're going to show you guys this place. We only spent like maybe an hour or so, but even just entering into this property, it feels like an oasis, like a zen place where it's just good energy with lots of plants surrounding the whole place. And everyone that we've met so far is just delightful people, which is not unlike Ahihik as a whole. Yeah, the place is amazing. Our room is gorgeous. It's like a palace. I don't think I've ever stayed in such a cool room. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, guys. So we're currently here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. I don't have the hat on. <laughs> we're currently out in the pool, which is pretty cool. They told us it's not chlorinated. It's not salt water. It's it's ionized. It's ion, ion something I don't understand. <laughs> infused. I should probably get clarity on that. But the water feels super nice. This is kind of like the hot ish time of day, which I think means it might be like 85 yeah. or so. So not really hot. There's nothing to complain about. This butterfly fell into the pool and then we saved him and put him out and then he fell back into the pool. <laughs> so <laughs> then I decided to put him on my hand, take him over here to like leaves or flowers or something. And now he won't get off me. <laughs> <laughs> This poor thing has a damaged wing. Oh, Cantarito, relaxing in ionic time. pool. I hope that's what it is. I think it's a bionic pool. It's bionic, <laughs> supersonic. We came up to a room that was really where I lit up. There's a bed right in the center of the room. Yeah, I've never had an island bed. I think you could put it like a moat around it and then be well protected. Just the style of the room, it feels very like classic, original architecture, olden style hacienda, which it was. It was just a huge, huge mansion of a house. I can't even imagine this being one family or one person's house. It's insane. But anyway, we're gonna be staying here for a few more days. Look at these just wrapped through there. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked by this artist painting white over what used to be different artwork on the wall and I feel like it's pretty hard not to mention this in every single video, but one of the absolute <laughs> best things about Ahihik is how vibrantly colorful and absolutely jam-packed of art. I mean, there's hardly blank walls anywhere and even when there aren't blank walls, they might still just paint over the old and start with something fresh. I wonder how often they have to repaint them. Hi, I'm a bird! <laughs> I think it needs a deeper voice. Oh, I'm a bird. <laughs> so at the time when we first came to Ahihik, we had taken one total... 
Buses. One of those. Buses. <laughs> we had taken one total bus in all of Mexico, and that was in Guadalajara. But since being in Ajijic, we now take the bus all the time. Thankfully, in this city, it's so easy because there's literally one main road. So it's kind of hard to mess it up. And they stop all the time, seven to nine pesos every time. As far as bus systems go, this is easy as pie. I, I don't even, we don't even know if there's Uber in Ajijic because we've never taken it. We only take the bus or walk. So we just got off the bus. Just kidding, we forgot to record it even yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so it's now the next day. We slept here in this room for the first time on this amazingly comfortable bed that thankfully does not actually have a moat. <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I woke up in the same exact position that I fell asleep in, which is completely unheard of because I'm a big tosser and turner. This bed was amazing. Easily the most comfortable one we slept in in Mexico and uh, maybe ever in my life. Cannot get over this view. It's so pretty. This morning, the weather was so gorgeous, we decided to come out here and take advantage of this meditation space that they have. And all the birds were chirping, nice little breeze. Cats were meowing. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, we went down to the pool to do some stretching, which I clearly need. <laughs> So that was really nice and every morning they make a home-cooked breakfast so there was like fruit and refried beans and what else there's cereal Beef with yogurt Nepal cactus and a bunch of other stuff really good and then of course they have tables out on the patio so got to soak in more of this awesome view that we have of basically the whole city what's your favorite part of this place oh that's really hard i think probably the bed <laughs> that was like okay, the greatest yeah, night's yeah. sleep I've gotten in yeah, a really the, long time. The bed was amazing, but the first thing that came to mind was all the birds chirping in the nature yeah, and all the plants. the and flowers whatnot. and the plants. It's really nice to be around all of this nature. And you know, we're describing all of these things kind of as they are, but in my whole life I've never been to an actual B&B. &B. We've been to a lot of the home kind. Yeah, the only kind I've been to is like the air kind. <laughs> the air B&B <laughs> kind. <laughs> this is just, I mean... The whole atmosphere is so tranquil, it almost makes me not want to go do all the things that we have planned later because it's just such a nice atmosphere to be in. And we have some exciting stuff coming up, so we do. So we have, be a lot of fun. We have something maybe in the mountains, something maybe in Ahihik, something about animals. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming up. The very first thing I noticed when we got here was this bell. Right up here. We've never gonged a real bell. <laughs> that would be so cool. So we wanted to go horseback riding up into the mountains. So our host here at Villa del Angel, oh my gosh. Villa del Angel. I'm really having trouble with his name. At this bed and breakfast, they know a guy who knows a guy who called a guy who is bringing his horses here to meet us. Oh, they're arriving right now. So all we're right. hoping to take a horsey ride up into the mountains and through the town and all types of shenanigans. But as you can see, here they come! We're so excited! <laughs> Ready for ride up horse, okay? Yes, absolutely. We have a good time. We good time to a good ride, okay? Perfect. Perfecto. Excelente. Yeah, excelente, okay. Very good. <laughs> this entire time, he would run ahead and then eat. Run ahead, <laughs> siempre tiene hambre y siempre tiene prisa. <laughs> so we just got off the horses. It ended up being a little bit under two hours. We were hoping to shoot for an hour, but what are your thoughts? <laughs> Man, I did not think that was going to be a workout. No. I'm going to be so sore tomorrow. <laughs> There's not enough booty fat on my booty to have protected me from all that bouncing. Oh, me either. <laughs> and then by the end, I mean, it was pretty hot, so got a little chafy. I, I would recommend wearing pants instead of yeah. what we wore. Yeah, especially if you're uh, going up in the mountains, sometimes you have to go through some vegetation that's going to scrape up against yeah. your legs. But man, I had a lot of fun. It was it like was. a roller coaster ride the whole time. And he, I think he was messing with us a little bit because he would get the horses to start going and then going faster and then galloping. Once they got to like a steady gallop, it was a little bit smoother, but when they were yeah. just kind of like 
fast trotting. It was like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, I had a smile on my face pretty much the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. It, it was oh, a it's lot of fun. beautiful. We got up to where you could see a view of pretty much from Chapala to Hokotepec. Oh my Man, gosh. I couldn't believe how some, big some of the houses are here. I saw the, up in the mountains? biggest house I've ever seen in my life. Huge. Uh, that's where like the billionaires live, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, I If we had any recommendations, like I said, pants. Pants are essential. Yeah. Also, sunscreen. Sunscreen, yes. Maybe go earlier in the day when it's a little bit cooler out. Yeah, absolutely. We, we should have gone earlier in the day because it got a little bit toasty. Um, also, just keep track of time. I had I was under the impression that maybe if we told him an hour that he would like make it an hour's trip, but I think he was waiting for us to tell him when to stop. So yeah. that was sort of like our deal, but I guess keep that in mind for yourself. So we'll learn from our few mistakes, but <laughs> it was fun. We recommend grabbing a horse and going for a ride. Yeah, it ended up being 900 pesos because it was like we said about two hours. He charges 150 per horse and per there hour. were three horses including his. Because he was thing. guiding us around. What an adventure. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am shaky. Oh, I, I badly need water and food. Who knows, maybe we'll even go to a place that has free drinks if you order an entree. We'll On Tuesdays out. and Thursdays, we'll just have to see. We're back at Restaurante Don Pedro because I can't say Pedro, I've been working on it. Pedro. Pe Pedro. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> Still gring no. Gring no. <laughs> but every Tuesday, Thursday, free drinks with your meal, so. We're if here you make a reservation good. ahead yeah. of time, go ahead and call. And we're back on the bus. <laughs> back to Via del Anhal. We just got done with an hour massage each. They had a massage therapist come on site. Her name is Brenda. And I don't know about you, but I'm really glad we got that massage today because I am way more sore after riding those horses than oh, I ever possibly too. imagined. Still, I think it was worth it. Did you have one other piece of advice that you forgot to share? Oh yeah, make sure to wear a bra. Priority numero uno. <laughs> We were able to choose wherever we wanted to do it. And so we did it on the patio, which was really cool to hear the birds chirping and the breeze coming off the mountain. Just being like outside, enjoying the gorgeous weather. I don't think I've ever had a cooler massage than that one. And you know, since we've been in Mexico, not every massage that we've ever had has been amazing. This one, I think, was amazing. Yeah, it was really good and it was really cool that she'll do house calls. Also, one interesting thing, partway through your massage, she, she was like, would I like to learn? So I was like, okay, I came out, and as it turns out, Jordan was being extra ticklish on his legs, so she was like trying to bring us together and do a specific part, a specific massage that I think she was trying to describe that it strengthens the relationship between us. We had asked for a massage, and they set one up for us here at the bed and breakfast, so they did all that stuff, and now we're going to look for some dinner, and they said there's options to order in, but we're gonna go see if we can explore around. And while we're on the way to dinner, we figured we'd tell you guys another aspect of this great million peso tangerine business idea. We had a lot of feedback on this, and we just think it's not quite there yet. Someone was wondering where we're going to put Laska if the car is full of tangerines. We decided that we're going to have her pulling the car. Although it's a hybrid, we want it to be even more economical. And save some money, a little yeah, bit. Exactly. Everyone loves an eco-friendly business. <laughs> and cuteness points, I mean, come on. Well, looks like we're here. We decided Thai food sounded good tonight, so we went to this place that's just about a five minute walk from our b, &B. Yes, it's called... Tepetate. Tepe, tepe, tepe tate? <laughs> <laughs> I probably mispronounced that. I'm gonna go with yes, that's up. <laughs> My red curry was 140 pesos, and you got what? And I got combo number one, which was also 140 pesos. Man, that hit the spot. So we've stayed here the last two nights, and our overall opinions of this place are just, it's amazing. I've never been to a B&B &B before, only the Airbnb kind, so I didn't really have any expectations of what this might be like, but what I think can sum it up is there were so many times where we were about to go do something like the horse riding, we're going out to eat, and I was like, do we have to go? Because I really enjoy being here. I mean, it's been a nice little staycation for us since we're living in Ahihik mm -hmm. right now. 
Yeah, they have a chapel on site. They're building a yoga studio. They have a place for meditation. A We've pool been in the without pool chemicals. like a million times. <laughs> and to give you an idea, the owner is in his early 70s and he hasn't taken a pill in 40 years, which Super is pretty impressive. incredible. He lives a totally natural life. All the cleaning products are natural. They're really, really trying to focus on having this be like a health retreat somewhere where you can get well. We were so disappointed that we're gonna have to leave soon because that's what I feel like we've been doing. Just kind of detoxing, stress a little bit, and just enjoying the time. So I'm already thinking like, when can we come back here? <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that we wanted to mention, first of all, a lot of you guys have told us how difficult it is to find a rental in Ahihik and more specifically like an affordable rental. Mm -hmm. And as far as comparable options go, this place is really affordable. But if you are looking for one, this starts at about $55 for a night and depending on which room you choose goes up to about a hundred at least this time of year probably more and the prices fluctuate uh, throughout the year yeah. depending on the on season off season so after we uploaded one of our recent videos where i was talking in spanish a whole bunch and as you guys have probably seen we've included a lot more conversations with people in spanish we've had a ton of people reach out to us or leave comments asking how do you learn spanish how can i improve my spanish skills so we're here to tell you <laughs> Yeah, we've used a f number of different softwares and also like watching Netflix shows, but if we had to choose just one software, it would probably be Rocket Languages. It's the most comprehensive, like they have tons of different ways for you to learn, and it's really thorough. Uh-huh, and also very accessible. It's all online or you can download the lessons as well. Yeah. So, although we do recommend trying to be as well-rounded on your own as possible, like do multiple things, use multiple different programs, um, try to look up words whenever you don't know them, things like that, Rocket Languages is probably our go-to at this point. And before coming to Mexico, we didn't use it nearly as thoroughly as we should have. Mm -hmm. But since we've been here, we're continuing our studies. If we had to choose one, that's the one we would recommend. We contacted them to partner with them as an affiliate. So we have a link right down below in the description. And if you purchase it through that link, we'll get a little something which helps us continue our travels and show you more of Mexico. So yay, win-win. Yeah. You can learn Spanish just the way that we do and how we're progressing, which we think has been very successful. Yeah. And you get to help us out a little bit too. And they also have a 60-day money-back guarantee, which gives you a long time to try out the software to make sure while. you love it. So what was that surprise we mentioned earlier? They're here at the same time we are. And no, this was unplanned. We showed up and we were like, wait, what? How in the... <laughs> How in the world did this happen? We were get, we were allowed to choose any dates that we wanted to stay here. So did the Kinetic Kennens, and they showed up at the same time. So we've all been here enjoying this B&B. Yeah, what are the <laughs> odds? Mexico proves over and over to be like, it's this huge country, but it's so, so small. <laughs> so really awesome though. We enjoyed a nice breakfast. We got to talk for a long time and they did bring up a good point. It is kind of strange to meet people for the first time, know almost nothing about them. I mean, and we're not going to spill any of their secrets, but who knows? Our paths could cross in the future. So you've been waiting for it and we've been waiting for it and here it is. <laughs> that bell so you get notified the next time you put out a new video please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one Bye.